and welcome back to the Comic Room Live. Um, it's Monday afternoon and it's a bank holiday, so I thought I'd do a quick um, video. Um, basically, this is my haul from um, Thought Bubble Comic Con last year, and when I kind of had my um, gap from making videos, I still had ideas about what I'd like to do when I started doing them again and one of the things was the uh, the stuff that I picked up at Thought Bubble um, in Leeds uh, last September um, it was a great con as always um, once again met a good friend of mine Lewis um, and spent some time with him which was brilliant and I picked up some good stuff now normally when I go to cons I take lots and lots of books with me for signing but last year I deliberately made um, a conscious decision that I wasn't going to do that um, because it's just a bit of a drag carrying so much stuff around so the stuff that I did take to get signed was um, very kind of specifically thought out and um, before I go further I'd just like to say a big thank you to the people who watched my welcome to the comic room video that I did last week um appreciate people watching my videos um also picked up a couple of subscribers in the last week so again thank you to the new people who've subscribed and thanks to all my subscribers um really really appreciate it so before any further ado um let's get on with the the stuff that i picked up at thought bubble last year um first of all the couple of things that i actually the couple of books that i purchased the first one was this, oh God, it's always awkward to get. There we go. Um, X23, number one. Picked this up specifically because it's a Lucio Perillo um, uh, cover. And I'm a massive fan of Perillo. So I had to get a copy of this. And then I also picked up um another Perillo cover another exclusive this is for and and managed to get this for just a pound um the reason being um the guys who were selling some of these covers um are happy with the condition um they couldn't sell them kind of near mint copies and with this one it's just because it's got some such, such slight marking down this side that really you've got to look closely to even see anything uh, but to pick that up for a pound was just uh, was fantastic really really nice cover with the red goblin there so that was the only thing I actually bought the, the, the things that I took with me to sign were basically um, for one guest in particular, and that was uh, Liba Mejo. Um, I mean, when the, the con was actually going on last September, the absolute hot book of the moment was Batman Dam number one that had just nicely come out. So, of course, um, with him doing the artwork, I couldn't resist taking my copy of Batman Dam number one to get signed. And there it is. And there's the the major signature at the bottom there. I also took a couple of other to get signed by him. Um, my paperback copy of Luther got that signed inside. You can see at the top there. Happy about that. And then I also took out a couple of copies of one of my favourite covers that he's, he's ever done. Um, and that's Suicide Squad, number 16. Really, really nice cover. Signature at the bottom there. And I got a second copy. Well, I took a second copy to get signed. Love that cover. Absolutely love it. 
I also got some signatures uh, from some of the guests who were there that I had not taken books to get signed, but I actually picked up ones when I was at the con. Uh, first of those was issue number one of Bone Parish from Boom Studios. Lee Garbutt was there, the cover artist on this, and he's it just there. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a cold today, so I'm suffering a bit. I also got a free copy of Fatal, issue number one, and managed to get that signed by Sean Phillips. Well, he was actually giving the copies out, and um, he signed that for me. Didn't cost me a penny. And a uh, comic contest who I always enjoy speaking to whenever he, he's there is um, Lawrence Campbell. And I was chatting to him. He was asking me if I, if I read much um, Hellboy or anything beyond that kind of stuff. And I said that I hadn't really read anything because I was a bit intimidated by the amount of stuff that there was. And didn't really know of a good jumping on point, that kind of stuff. So he was selling some issues and he actually suggested this particular run of five books um which i got and he was selling them for just a pound each so i got um and he signed all the copies he's got bprd hell on earth issue number 143 and he signed there uh, 144 One four five, one four six, and one four seven. And the last thing to show you from last year's Thought Bubble was the piece of original art that I had done. Um, another favorite pair that I would like to chat to if I get a chance at a con is Charlie Adlard from The Walking Dead. Um, he often attends Thought Bubble. I think it's one of his uh, favorite cons and if I can I always try and get a sketch done. Um, in previous years I've had uh, The Governor with eye patch done and also Negan. Um, so this year I decided to go for Ezekiel. And he signed it to me there. Really happy with this. Uh, Charlie always does his sketches for a nominal price. Uh, I think it was 20 pounds. And any money that he collects always goes to charity, which is brilliant. So I come away with an, a really nice sketch and the charity of his choice benefits um, from the contributions so really happy about that I'll be attending again this year and um, it's moved back to November. so um, Charlie's going to be attending again so I'm going to have to put some thought into who I'm, I'm going to get a sketch of done um, this year so that's it, a pretty short and sweet video. I just, um, obviously this has been a video that's been six months in the making. Um, so I thought this would just be a good opportunity to get that out there. So um, if you're watching, um, thanks for watching. And um, hopefully it won't be long again before I do my next video. Um, so again, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.